Hello again. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope that you're all having a great day. So I'm going to give an update on Monkey. We have a couple of days that I'm going to give you here. So it's starting back on the 21st, right? Um, Alexandra that's been out there, she had said that uh, was the update on Sarah Wandra that or the status hearing was reset for her to December 23rd at 9 a.m. And then also there was the update that the chief said uh, they'll probably not have another update until they complete the search, which would most likely be Monday. And that the chief said that they've got a lot of work to do in the next few days, right? So that was the 21st and the 22nd updates. And then this video here that I'm gonna play for you, and I'm gonna get you guys caught up on everything that's going on the past few days here. Back here now, crews are back at a home in Fruitland continuing their search for Michael Vaughn. Investigators have been excavating the yard of a house that's only about a four minute drive from the Vaughn home. Police believe Michael's remains are there. Michael disappeared from his neighborhood in July of 2021. We'll be sure to update you when we learn more about what investigators discover. And many of you have reached out asking how to help the Vaughn family. So, so friends of the Vaughn family have put together a few ways the community can send love and support to the parents and siblings of little Michael. There's a meal train for the Vaughns and an Amazon holiday wish list. You can find all that information online at the link on your screen right now. It's findmichaelvon.com slash holiday dash help. Also in this case, today a judge ruled the woman charged in connection to the disappearance of Michael Vaughn is mentally unfit to proceed in the case. The judge says 35-year-old Sarah Wandra is not able to help in her own defense. She faces a charge of failure to report a death. Under Idaho law, she cannot go to trial if she is not mentally fit to do so. The preliminary hearing was supposed to be tomorrow, but that's been postponed until Friday, December 23rd. Wandra is being transferred to custody of the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare for treatment. The commitment order is in effect for up to 90 days. So that brought you up to up to par kind of right there. Um, and then uh, the other thing, I will put that in the description, the way that you can help the family, right? So I'll put the link in the description for you to be able to find if you would like to help them out. And then also I will bring you over here to this. Let me put you on it. All right. Police began searching a house in Fruitland for the remains of Michael Vaughn, the five-year-old boy who went missing in July of last year. And while we wait for updates on that search for Michael Monkey Vaughn, members of the community have been coming together with their own ways to help the Vaughn family. News Channel 7's Jude Binkley was at the Fruitland Community Park where a prayer circle was planned for Michael Vaughn. A community prayer circle is set to take place here at the Fruitland Community Park Wednesday night at 6. People will be coming together to send prayers to Michael, his family, and everyone involved in the ongoing search. The prayer circle is being organized by a community Facebook group dedicated to Michael that held other events for Michael in the past. We have been pleasantly surprised by the way the Fruitland community, Ontario, Payette, all the surrounding areas, and then across the country and across the world come together to just even share words of encouragement if they can't do anything else. Um, so it, it's been very humbling to see the amount of people come forward and help this family in one way, shape, or form. Police have been searching a home in Fruitland for the remains of Michael Vaughn since November 12th. Sarah Wandra, one of the residents, has been charged with failure to report a death. Her status conference was reset to December 23rd because a judge ruled she's mentally unfit to assist in her own defense and she needs treatment. Police excavated the backyard and are now searching through the house. Fruitland Police Chief J.D. Huff told KTVB that they don't expect any updates on the case until after they finish their search, which will likely be Monday. 
Huff also said that they've got a lot of work to do over the next few days as they continue their search. Earlier today, we saw trucks unloading dirt back at the house that's being searched. As the community waits for answers, they're coming together to do what they can to support the Vaughn family. So we were sitting at home the other day and I just kind of looked at my husband. I said, you know what? It's Thanksgiving's coming up. We still don't really have any answers as to what's going on um, with the Wander home and what's going on there. I think we should just do a prayer circle. And at the end of the day, it's all I really know that we have to do. You know, we, we can't go down there and demand answers. We're not going to get answers any faster than they're going to release them. We're not going to have justice any sooner than we would all like to see it happen. So at the end of the day, all we have is prayer. Outside of the prayer circle, there are some other ways you can support the Vaughn family. They have an Amazon Christmas wish list set up for them, as well as a meal train. Now, the community Facebook group has some more information on other ways you can support them. In Fruitland, I'm Jude Binkley, Idaho's News Channel 7. And we have links to those ways that Jude mentioned that you can support Michael's family on our website right now, ktvb.com. And then the... Um... The uh, Abby Davis, she's also down there reporting. She says that the uh, update for them was that the chief told her that they had finished digging up the backyard um, of the house and that they were searching for the for the search for monkey, and they had have processed the entire yard and any evidence found inside of the house, right? So inside the house as well, and then also. She wrote another one and said that the chief said that they will most likely hold a press conference on November 30th or December 1st, and he wouldn't give any further details. So that will be either Wednesday or Thursday that we're going to be having a press conference coming up. So I will keep you posted once I end up hearing for sure I will set it. I will I'll set a press conference up on the, um, on my YouTube, right? So that I, I'll cover it for you guys. But uh, we also have for Wednesday, let me look because I actually wrote it down because I didn't want to forget. But on Wednesday, we have possibly, if he does it Wednesday, we'll have the press conference. Don't know what time, but the Idaho for the university students, that press conference is at four, Eastern Standard if they stick to doing it on Wednesday like they did this week. And then uh, there's also a visual that's happening for the university students on Wednesday at 8 Eastern as well. And then I also do a panel at 9 Eastern um, with Sleuth Mom and The Look of My Life. So if they do it Wednesday, it's going to be a really, really busy day for me. Um, so I think Thursday would be pretty good, but I also don't want to keep holding out because, I mean, I have no idea what they could tell us. I, I don't even know if that means they'd have found nothing. I don't, I don't, I don't know, but let me play this one for you. Uh, also the, uh, the candlelight, um, prayer circle that they did, I have the video of it that's on my um, if you go to the videos area um you'll be able to find it that i took from last night so you'll be able to find it there if you want to check out um check it out the news at 10 with the community grieving still without answers to so many questions five-year-old michael affectionately known as monkey vaughn went missing from his fruitland neighborhood in july of 2021 the police chief told us today that crews finished digging up the backyard of a house where they believed Michael's remains were buried. That house, just four minutes from the Vaughn's home. Our Abby Davis was at a candlelight prayer circle tonight for Michael and his family. And Abby, the community really banding together and continuing to show their support as they have been for more than a year now. Well, Morgan, about 100 people actually showed up to the candlelight vigil. And everyone I spoke with really just wanted to show the Vaughn family how loved they are. Michael's coming home. We haven't given up hope, and we won't give up hope. 
hope, and prayer for Michael Vaughn, who was just five years old when he went missing from his Fruitland neighborhood in July of 2021. We needed to do something just for the community to come together and show support for this family and for Michael. So we decided to do a uh, candlelight prayer circle. Michael's mom, Brandy Neal, says she's overwhelmed with love. The love and the support and the kindness that everybody has continuously shown Michael and our entire family this entire time and to come out in freezing cold and just show how strong we are as a community together. It's, it's amazing. Michael's become everybody's son, grandson, brother. Brooke Curtis, who organized the prayer circle, says she wants to show the world we're better together than apart. I think with prayer, I think just allowing uh, everybody to open up about their wishes and, and support for this family and this community, I think that really putting that in a verbal sense really brings the community closer together. I came out here tonight because this really just, you know, hit home for me. I've been watching it for unfold for a year and a half now. I think it's important for the community to kind of wrap their arms around this family and show them that they're loved and they're cared about. We love you all. We thank you. Thank you so, so very much. Everyone that has been helping us with hot meals and um, just kind words and prayers and hugs <laughs> for our entire family, all the way around, and uh, our extended family across the country. Um, thank you. Thank you for your kindness and support. Affectionately known as Monkey, Neil says Michael lived up to the nickname. He's sweet and kind and loving, and he would probably been running up hugging every single person that was here right now, if he could have been here. We're gonna find him. I think he promised. Police arrested a woman named Sarah Wandra on a charge of failure to report a death in connection to Michael's case earlier this month. She lives in the house crews have been digging up. But Morgan, as far as getting answers goes, it's going to be at least another week before police tell us what they found in that search at Wandra's house. I spoke with Chief Huff earlier today, and he said that he plans on hosting a news conference next week sometime. Okay, I know we'll stay on top of that. And as for Sarah Wandra, we've been reporting that she was supposed to have a couple hearings this week, and uh, it was determined that she needed to be committed to a facility where her competency, her mental competency could be restored before yes. she was able to assist in her own trial. All right, Abby Davis, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, so um, December 23rd is supposed to be her next um, court, right? So we'll see if she attends that. And the prayer circle, if you want to see it, you could see it on my video from last night. And then if you want to be able to help out with the, the family, I will drop the link will be in the description of this video as well. And I will keep you guys posted whether they do the press conference on the 30th, which would be Wednesday, or on the 1st, which would be Thursday. So I'll keep you posted on that. But that's the most recent update. They have finished the search of both the yard and inside of the home. So now we just wait, but yeah. Uh, continue to pray for the family and uh, I don't know just hold on pray for the family and hold on and um, we'll see next week what comes you know what comes of it but I'll talk to you all very very soon happy Thanksgiving everyone